I think about times back when we used to, when we were fighting fire, and you can see 100,000 acres burning, and we're just going after it little by little. It seems like there's no progress where you are standing on the fire line, but then you hear the report that it was 25% contained. Then you hear another report where it's 50% contained, and you're looking around you, and you're going, I don't see where it's contained, where I'm standing. I can't see it. I can't see it. And then I think now, that's where that battle weariness comes in. Because you can't see the victory. You hear, you read, but you just can't see it. It's almost there. As I was standing here thinking some more, and I'm asking the Spirit to give me words. More and more I get reminded of, is this our battle with the giant? Is this our Goliath right now? Are we going up against something so strong and so powerful right now that we need more of him? You see, it's not about do we are we equipped, but it's how are we using what we are equipped with? How are we using what we are equipped with? You know, David went out and he fought and he won. And most people counted him out before he even got started. They counted him out before he even got started, yet he became the victor. See, if we stop and think, it wasn't he that became the victor. It's God in him that showed the victory. All throughout Scripture, we see, think about even our, is this our Jericho moment? We walking around, watching walls fall, or are we just sitting on the sideline? All these things that are in Scripture that shows when we truly are at our weakest, it allows Him to show how strong He really is through the victories that are already promised. I'm sitting here and I'm looking out right now, and I come to think about our our nurses out there have one right here that are on the front line not even on the you know I used to think the, the, the medics and the firefighters we were on the front line we were the ones that picked them up and brought them in and we used to joke and say you know we'd say it's funny nurse say oh you couldn't start the IV I say well you tried doing it when you're hanging upside down the car is upside down and you're not right side up that was a little joke we had going back and forth. But it was funny because we, you know, that's what we dealt with. Maybe there was not a lot of light. You got a flashlight this, you know, on an arm or something, you're trying to start a line. The funny thing about it is that now it seems like times have changed. Right now, everybody is on the front line. And I see men that were there. It's not all of them. Getting ready to have women's. I pray that the same fire that burns for the men and in the men be with the women as well. Be with the women as well. See, this isn't a battle that is, well, it's men and women. See, that's, that's not the vision. You know, I keep hearing, I always hear, you know, this whole term, mansplain and uh, you, the, the glass ceiling. Yes, all those things are real. But we've got to find a common place to realize that we are not each other's enemies. We weren't even put on this planet to be enemies. We were joined together to be joined together. I can go on and on about everybody that's supposed to be joined together, the world, God's children, every one of us. That's a whole other sermon. You need to understand that. There's few that are lagging behind, but they'll, they, you know, they'll get there in their own time, prayerfully. It's within the time that they're here. Because you can only do this while you're awake. Scripture tells us. When it's time to sleep, that's that, that's that eternal sleep for some. They don't have, they're not going to be able to do any of this that we're doing right now. 
It's too late then. Those are my words right now. It's from my heart. It's from my heart. And I say it sincerely with love. We've got to wise up and then rise up. Use everything that God has given us. Use everything that he's given us. <laughs>